Hi, welcome to Rio. Thank you. Mr. Miller. You're not making this easy. Must say, you are a hero in the comic and uh, graphic novel <coughs> world, I've been told. So, we saw little snippets of the film. Looks wicked. No doubt comic fans are going to wee themselves when they see it with excitement. But for those who aren't really up on that kind of thing, why don't you tell us a little bit about the film? It ends tonight. You got that right. Spirit is, 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 a, is a <clears throat> based on an old comic book done in the 40s and 50s by um, a master, Will Eisner, who helped create comic books. It tells the story of, of, of young Denny Colt, a police officer who's about to marry the boss's daughter. And he's on his way to a perfectly ordered, happy life when he's shot through the chest and murdered on the street. We never know who did it, but he somehow comes back to life and decides to become a shadowy figure and gives up on, on the boss's daughter and lives alone in a mausoleum and goes out and, and works for the cops behind the scenes. We see him in this movie in an existential journey trying to figure out who he is and finding out that a childhood sweetheart of his has, has, tur has turned bad so that he's got to take care of that he's got to bring her to justice and so so he is tested on every moral plane there is and he eventually finds out how it was he came back to life and and uh, and eventually sets things right but they're never right. Not in the world of spirit. Well, it looks pretty cool, though, right? It looks really cool. Yeah. It looks really cool. So why this uh, comic, and why now? Well, they asked me. <laughs> you know, they asked me, and they were going to do a, a spirit movie. Yeah. And, and, and uh, at first I, I said, no. No, it's my mentor. Will Eisner isn't my, well, you know, was my mentor, and, and I can't possibly touch his work. Fellow legend. Then about three minutes later, I went, nobody else gets to come close. Just let me do it. And, and, uh, and I put together what I thought was a, 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 the best I could do as, a, as, an, as um, to make an understanding of what he did, but also to make a really good ripping yarn. And, and, and uh, <coughs> you know, the, the, uh, uh, then got together a great cast. Awesome, stellar yeah. cast. Yeah. Do you kind of love the fact that you can pick the hottest girls in the world and say, be in my movie, and they go, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what guy wouldn't? What guy wouldn't? Yeah. Who the hell are you? You the octopus's girlfriend? Oh, no, it's not like that. I mean, this is fun for me. Fun? We show up here, we look fabulous doing it, we swap things, and then we leave. Or maybe you're just looking to get yourself killed. God, lady, would you lighten up? I run a very lucrative operation, and I'm great eye candy. I walk away, I have my PhD all paid for. Fine. Just tell Lugnuts over there to give me the box. And you, you start that walking as far away from that animal as you possibly can. He will kill you. He kills everything. All right, fine. I just think you're taking this way too seriously, that's all. So what's next for Mr. Miller? Sin City 2, probably. It'll Sin be coming City up. 2. It's written. Robert Rodriguez and I will probably be doing it. Um, and once we've got all the details worked out, you know, there's all these finances and things you work out about movies, and you never know what studio you're working with until you finally get going. But um, I, I, said, I, I hope it'll be being Robert back in Texas, um, and, and it'll be rolling along. Loving it. Very much looking forward to it. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.